Good afternoon and welcome to Cooking Uncovered. I'd like to share with you this uh, great stuffing recipe and the beautiful thing about stuffing for turkey, for turkey dinners, is that you can pretty much make stuffing with anything you've got in your fridge as long as you've got your basics, which is onion, so here's my onion, carrots, celery, and you need to have sage. So I'm going to use dried sage today and it actually, um, it actually looks like this. It's lovely, it's dry, this is beautiful. If you had the fresh sage, I'd use that as well because it's so delicious. I'm also going to add a little bit of a twist today because I have, <laughs> believe it or not, this is, this is butternut squash and I use the rest of the squash to make um, squash linguine. So I use the squash as the noodle rather than using pasta. So I'm going to throw this in because I don't want it to go to waste. So let's get started. In my fry pan here on the stove, very, a hot pan, I've already heated it up and of course you always want to start with a hot pan. I'm going to put in my oil, so that's about half a cup of oil and about a quarter cup of, um, sorry, half a cup of butter and a quarter cup of oil. Alright, so that's going to melt away and this is going to be the base for my onions, my carrots and my celery. So of course when you're chopping your vegetables, like your carrots, make sure you be very careful so that you have a flat surface to, top, to chop on. Get yourself a nice cutting board. This is a lovely cutting board that I found at the restaurant supply uh, place. It's nice and big and it's great. So anything that's round, don't try to cut a round rolling object. Put it on the flat and then chop it, dice it, because it just makes for safer cutting and then you won't cut yourself. So my, my um, butter and my oil are now heating up. So I'm going to take my scraper and all of this is going into my pan to start to slowly saute. Now, my heat is on a medium heat, not anything, anything higher than medium heat, because I want my vegetables to slowly saute, and it'll work really well. So I'm going to use about three stalks of celery, so cut those in half so they're manageable. Don't worry about the little bitty ends, it doesn't matter. I use them. I use it all, because I know you don't want to use it for, um, for uh, celery stick, so you might as well use it for soups or stews or your dressing. So just chop that up, same size as your onions and your carrots and your other three. So just slit down the center to make them into manageable, by, manageable size pieces and then just dice away. And really with dressing it doesn't have to be a perfect dice because it's all mushed up in, in the end anyway. So I'm going to continue to get this into the pot and then we're going to slowly saute it away. Okay, on a medium heat now, the onions, the carrots and the celery are all beautifully sauteed and the onions are transparent. It's perfect. Okay, to this I want to add my herbs at this point. I'm going to add um, about one teaspoon of uh, dry powdered sage. So one teaspoon, I love sage, so you can never have enough. And then two tablespoons of the dried sage. So just pack it in there like that. So see that, so two of those, tastes delicious. And of course, we want our salt and pepper at this point. So I'm gonna crack pepper and some salt. All right, now I'm going to let the herbs saute a little bit and that will bring out all that, oh, oh I love sage cooking, it's so, if I had some fresh rosemary, I'd throw that in too. Okay, so meanwhile, here on my board, I have my squash, which I've got left over. So I'm just going to dice that up as well and that can go in, it doesn't have to be sauteed, but I'm gonna throw it in. So what I'm gonna do with this part, I'll just, actually throw it into my casserole dish, dish which is over here. So I've got some breadcrumbs in there already and my squash which is left over and I just don't want it to go bad. So I'm going to cut that up and that will all go into my, into my dressing. This will, this will soften right up and it will be absolutely amazing in any stuffing for sure. If you had yams you could also use yams or just more carrots or just leave it out all together. As I said, I just want to use it up so it doesn't go bad in the fridge. All right, so now I have the breadcrumbs, which I'll show you. I have three hot hamburger buns. 
that I had in the cooler in the fridge. And um, I think we had somebody at hamburgers a week ago. And uh, so now these are left over. They're going to go stale. They're going to go dry. So I'm going to cut them up into cubes. And I'm going to add them actually right into my saute pan, into my frying pan, so they absorb all that beautiful oils. So this is working really well. It's ready to go. Love it. There's one more thing though. I'm going to put the bread crumbs in, let that saute away. If that's not enough dressing, so after three hamburger buns, then if you have the crust of a loaf of bread in it, like this, see just the last few ends, you can cut those up too. But one thing I do want to add is cilantro. So I've got a whole bunch of cilantro. I took off the stems, I've washed it, now I'm going to add that right into my casserole dish. And I love fresh cilantro in stuffing. It's amazing. It's a real compliment to the um, sage. So these can just, if you don't want to cut them up, just tear them into bite-sized pieces, right? Throw them in. It's perfect. Stuffing is so easy to make for this one reason. You can just kind of add just about anything you want, and that's your stuffing. So this has got to go in the oven. So um, you'd put this into a moderate oven, like 350 oven, and then it cooks for about 45 minutes, uh, bakes in the, in the oven. So here we've got, look at this. In my casserole dish, I've got the uh, squash, the breadcrumbs, cilantro, and now I'm just going to saute this away. It's absorbing a lot of the oils, and this goes into the pot now. So this is perfect. So in that goes, that's, that's all the, that's my induction range. Don't worry about it, it's just beefy. All right, so now, look at the way it looks. Isn't that perfect? All right, so to this, this we're not done yet. To this, we're going to add some stock. So start with one cup. This is going to be a vegetarian stuffing, by the way, because my daughter is vegetarian. So we're going to start with one cup of stock over that. Now, if you want to add some white wine, go right ahead, because it really tastes good. So you want all of your bread to be moistened. And all the oh, sage smell, it is just beautiful. I'm going to add, that's one cup. I'm going to add another half a cup of stock, because I do want it moist. And then, lid goes on, goes into the oven for 45 minutes, and there's your turkey dressing when it's not even in the turkey. But it's perfect because you've done it ahead of time. So again, this could be easily done the day ahead. Pop it in the oven, and then when it's time to serve, pop it in the oven 45 minutes, and there you go. So thanks for joining me on Cooking Uncovered. So here we are uncovering the secret behind a beautiful, beautiful vegetarian stuffing. And honestly, folks, anything you've got in your fridge, just experiment. Try it, because I'm sure it will work. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for joining me on Cooking Uncovered.